Okay, so now that I look like a ghost, I look dead. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. If you don't know me, welcome. Glad you stopped by today. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Today we are going to go ahead and be unboxing the BoxyCharm Lux Box for the month of June. I've actually already picked in here just to see what I got so that we can do a try on style video. I have a little card here. I will go ahead and read out the description of each item so you guys know what each item is. And we'll just go in the order as is listed. And I did get variation number 52. And in case you guys don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box. They have three different boxes. One that's 25, which is the base box. One that is 35, which is the premium box that I just unboxed last week on my last video, which I will link somewhere at the end of this video. And then this one that is $50. The two, the premium and the base are monthly. This one is every three months, so you get four a year. I believe but yeah this one is $50 so we'll see if it's definitely worth it this month if you guys saw my video from the last unboxing I was kind of on the fence if I wanted to keep boxy charm or not so far my premium was good so as of right now still thinking of keeping boxy charm for now we're gonna go ahead and open this box and see what I like and what I don't like and we'll see if we're keeping the boxy lux or not let's go ahead and get started here the first thing in the box is the Kylie skin by Kylie Jenner foaming face wash it says our luxurious foaming face wash is infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity this gentle formula cleanses skin by helping to remove dirt oil and makeup for a fresh bright complexion all right so this is worth $24 this is what it looks like to be honest with you guys I have not tried anything Kylie or Kim or any of them I'm not a big fan of them to me I think it's just a big hype because of their name but maybe this is good so I'm obviously not gonna try it in this video today if you guys want to see me trying this out maybe I'll do like a skincare routine I haven't done one in a while so maybe I'll do that if you guys want to see a, a skincare routine or something like that go ahead and leave that in the comments below let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in or not let me open it up I just kind of want to smell it and see if I can smell anything I don't really smell anything. Oh, that opened way too easy. Okay. No, mm, it has a nice smell to it. That's all I can say about it for now. Well, obviously we're not trying this out today, but like I said, if you guys want to see a skincare routine, go ahead and let me know down in the comments section. Next thing in the box is the Perlis Beauty Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. And this one says, complexion perfection for a gorgeous matte meets dewy finish. Your multitasking beauty balm glides on like tinted moisture moisturizer with all the age defying coverage and sunscreen benefits of a foundation and BB cream. The value of this is $35 and that's what it looks like and I'm actually a big 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 fan of Perlas. I really do like them. I've talked about them in the past here in my channel before. I do have mostly skincare. I haven't tried any of their makeup. I don't even know that they have makeup but obviously they have BB cream foundation sort of thing but to be honest i've actually never tried a bb cream or a cc cream whatever that's called or even a tinted moisturizer i've never tried a tinted moisturizer either so just so you guys knew i'm a full coverage kind of girl but i'm gonna go ahead and give this a try just to see how it works out it does say that it is matte but dewy so i don't know i'm a dewy girl my skin is really really dry so i prefer to have a dewy finish than a matte finish but yeah we will go ahead and try this one out next thing in the box is the tula skincare glow it cooling brightening eye balm it says this eye balm stick delivers a lit from within glow while instantly hydrating cooling and filling in fine lines around the eyes You'll feel awake with this eye balm and look refreshed and energized so you can glow and get it. <laughs> you can glow and get it. That's funny. 
and this is worth $28 and that is what it looks like it's really small it has like a oh okay it's just like a little stopper thing oh okay it does definitely feel cooling right now that I just swiped it on my hand here so that's exciting I do like Tula products I've only tried a couple but the ones that I do have I do like so I'm super excited to give this a go next thing in the box is the Tarte Tardius Pro Amazonian Clay palette it says prepare for expression explosion being passionate about pigment the sequel to the og pro palette came to play this rich vibrant 20 shade superstar was formulated to celebrate all forms of art and expression it's ready to rock your world and remix yourself this palette is worth 49 dollars this is what it looks like well the packaging and nice comes with a little card here just with different looks that you can do that is pretty cool nice and then the palette really nice really sleek really heavy it does feel expensive for sure and that is what the palette looks like super cute so we will see what we can come up with with these shades very neutral it has some pops of color here and there i'm really excited about this one called trendy down here it looks really pretty we will go ahead and try it out and see what we think of it i haven't tried many tarte palettes the other one that i do have is the like neutral one i don't remember what it's called but i really do like that one and i have that one i always use it for like smoky eyes or something like that because of all the neutral shades that it has in it so yeah that is that one we will go ahead and try this one out next thing in the box is the hallmark collectibles satin pillow and mask set it says non-absorbent fabric that reduces hair tangling and skin friction for the ultimate beauty sleep set includes one standard satin pillowcase with matching satin eye mask and this one was actually my choice the choices this month were may so this is what i picked my hair does get pretty tangled that night because i'm a crazy sleeper but this is what it looks like super cute i love the color it's like this lush pink really pretty love it obviously we're not gonna try this one but <laughs> and this is the pillowcase super cute i kind of wish they would have sent two so that i could have like matching you know because i like to match my pillowcases to like the sheets that i have on my bed so i mean it would have been kind of nice to have two that one retails for $50 just in case I didn't mention it. It did come in this really cute little bag here. Hallmart. Never heard of it before. Next thing in the box is the M Greengrass CBD Head to Toe. And this one says, This unique formula uses THC free encapsulated CBD for faster absorption. It's also packed with high performance ingredients for intense hydration, exceptional moisture, but soothing and calming benefit. Great as a daily facial moisturizer or for challenging spots from head to toe for all skin types. And this one is worth $56. Now, one other product that i've tried from this brand was a body butter i think it was that i also got from boxy lux that was when i first started getting my boxy lux and i remember i loving that one so i'm really excited about this one the ingredients on here seem pretty good so i'm hoping that they will help with the moisturizing part definitely always looking for something to hydrate my skin like i said i have very dry skin so stuff that is hydrating to my skin is really helpful hoping that this will work out great next thing in the box is the Malin and Goetz goats goats Malin and goats Malin and goats I don't know how to pronounce it but it says recovery treatment oil this botanical oil treatment absorbs quickly to nourish skin and help improve appearance of fine lines and wrinkles evening primrose organ and jojoba oils help boost hydration grape seed and rose hip oils deliver vitamin C and E to help improve skin tone geranium and borage oils help balance skin suitable for all skin types including sensitive this is worth $82 guys I have used one other thing from them in the past and it's a lip balm I still have a little bit of it left and actually it's one of my favorite ones to use right before I go to sleep because it leaves it very hydrating Ooh. And this is what the packaging looks like. It looks really cute, actually. I love it. I love the color. Excited to try this out. And it smells so good. I was just kind of reading to see what it, you're just supposed to put it on your face when 
whatever. Directions apply five to seven drops on clean skin. Okay, I don't know which one to try out now. If I should try this one out or if I should try this one out. I don't know, but can't go wrong with skincare. So I'm super excited to have this. Hope that it works out okay. But yeah, I don't know which one we'll use. I guess it'll be at the moment. I'll decide which one I want to use. And last but not least is the Bodyography Lip Pencil Set. Pouty and Rosewood are the shades. It says antioxidant lip pencils that glide on like your favorite lipstick with precise pigment, rich color frame, fill in and define lips. Enriched with coconut oil and vitamin E. And this one is worth $28. And it looks like it's these two shades, really pretty actually. I really like a vampy lip, so this one is definitely my kind of jam. Also, the nude one looks really pretty, so I'm excited to try both of these out. Okay, and that is all for the box. These little cards did come in here, the Pearless one. I got a light medium shade, it looks like, for Pearless one. I love how they always put like what the benefits are of each thing. That is one of the things that I love about them. We'll go ahead and give that one out a try. Oh, and then this one is a just a Kylie skin thing and then it gives you a little coupon so if you want to purchase something enjoy five dollars off your next kyliskin.com order with promo code that's that I'm gonna get rid of the box here and we are gonna start with skincare first i do have my brows done so i think we're just gonna work around them because i don't want to redo them again they take forever so we're gonna just work around them <laughs> so we are going to try first I wonder if I could just use both of these. Why not? We're gonna use the drops first and then we're gonna use this one. Because this one I don't think, this one's like thicker. Oh yeah, this one is thicker. So we're gonna use the drops first and then lock it in with this one. It says use five to seven drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do six because it's in between. Ooh, just we'll flush it in. The smell is really strong, but it's not like a bad smell, but it is really, really strong. So if that's something that you do not like, then this is probably not for you. I don't mind the smell. Take a look here. Okay. It feels nice and soft for sure. On the little bottle, it says, our fast absorbing treatment synthesizes a blend of nine antioxidant rich oils that nourish and hydrate to help address the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. All right. So my wrinkles and lines should be gone, right? <laughs> Just kidding, they shouldn't be gone. Not that fast, at least. I'm sure if you keep using that, that it'll probably work. I don't know. This is my first time, but first impression, it does feel really nice on the face. I really do like it, actually. It does really feel nice. Just like I said, the smell is a lot. So if you're a person that doesn't like strong smells, then probably not for you. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna use is the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. And that's what that looks like. I'm just gonna pull it out a little little bit and just oh okay that does feel good definitely feel the cooling effect it feels like it's wet I love it it feels really good I'm gonna go ahead and just dab it out with my finger here it has like the shine to it like if it was like a highlighter of some sort I don't know if you would be able to see it if you were gonna put foundation on and concealer can you see through it I don't know it does feel good. Like I said, you can't really say if it's good or not with one time only. You have to keep trying it out. I mean, I do feel the cooling sensation. That is bright. Brightening, I don't know. I mean, it has some shimmer on it. Maybe that'll make it look brightening. I don't know. But yeah, it does feel good. Next thing we're going to use is going to be this Perlis BB Cream. And I don't know, do you apply this like a normal foundation? Or would you apply it with a brush? I'm going to try it with my big sponge here. I actually get a lot of questions about this sponge. I haven't used it in a long time, but this is the Real Techniques Face and Body Sponge, Complexion Sponge. It's just a bigger version of the Complexion Sponge, I believe that's what it's called, the orange one. This is just a bigger version of it. So I'm gonna just place some here at the back of my hand. 
There's a lot of benefits to this. It says improves skin complexion, softens and evens skin tone, hydrates the skin, helps reduce fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, dullness, and other signs of aging, prevents UVA, UVB damage. So I'm just gonna grab it with my sponge here and I'm gonna place it on. It is a little bit on the light side for my skin tone. It looks light. I'm going to apply a little bit more so that I can have some on my forehead here. I'm going to use a brush to apply it to some smaller parts like around my brows and stuff because I don't want to mess up my brows. It is definitely very light, too light for my skin. I don't mean light like coverage wise, but like the color is too light for me. I can see that it's light coverage for sure. It wouldn't be something that I would wear on its own. I would probably mix it in with something else if I was to ever use it again. It is really light for me, way too light. So this is not, not my shade. Maybe if it was my shade, I would like it better. But let's leave the shade part aside. Let's take a look and see how it feels. It does feel good. It doesn't feel like I have much on my face, which is good. I'm used to you having a full face on. Yeah, and it's, it's light coverage, obviously. You guys can still see some stuff here and there. But it is way, 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 way too light for me. I do not like it on its own. I'm going to go off camera, put a different foundation over this because it's way too light for my liking. Do my face, so like my bronzer and all of that. And we'll come back and do the eyes so we can use the Tardius Pro palette. So I will be right back. Alright guys, so I am back with the face done. I did just add this foundation over it. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, just in case you guys were wondering. And then for my bronzer and blush, I just used this palette. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And I used this one for my bronzer and then this one for my blush. I did spray my face just a little bit for those powders to melt into my face. I just used the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And now we're going to go ahead and try this palette out so as you guys can see all of the shades here are matte except for the ones here are shimmers so i kind of want to use this one here for sure this bottom one and we're just gonna go with the flow whatever goes as long as i'm incorporating that shade somehow that's what it looks like swatched it's like a duochrome kind of really pretty okay so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna be using just this brush this is the alamar and it's the real fluffy one here i'm gonna go ahead and use that to add a transition shade above my crease you guys know i always do that i'm gonna use this shade right here edgy this brown right there and i'm just gonna use that up here oh these are really pigmented holy cow wasn't trying to go in with that much but okay see if we can blend it out so it's not too crazy just going in in circular motions bringing it in it's definitely pigmented at least that shade that i grabbed is very pigmented grabbing another one of the same brushes i'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker shade here orangey brown shade it's called whimsy i'm gonna use this one right here kind of like a terracotta shade and i'm gonna make sure that i get rid of the excess because these are really pigmented holy cow i think i'm just gonna put that all over the lid here not being careful with it just placing it on it's really pretty. I'm not putting it all the way in the inner corner because that's where I want to use that pretty shimmer shade. Now I'm going to go in a little bit darker using the shade Smoked, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner here. 
just blending it up and into that pretty terracotta shade we just put down i do want to go back and use the first shade we used edgy to blend this shade out here in a little bit i'm just gonna use a different brush so i'm grabbing edgy again the very first shade that i used and i'm gonna place that right here and with a, a brush that doesn't have any product on it just gonna blend it out crazy up there there we go that's better I'm gonna go back in with that terracotta shade which was whimsy this one right here and make sure that I still have that on my lid adding that darker shade again which was smoked the dark brown shade did grab a little bit more of whimsy the terracotta shade and then to make sure that just everything is nicely blended again i'm gonna go in with the first shade we used edgy tapping out the axis and just placing it on there to make sure that it's all nice and blended then with the brush that doesn't have anything on it go back in and blend it some more Now I'm going to use this other Alamar brush and I'm going to grab the shade Trendy, which is the pretty, this pretty shade right there, pretty shimmery shade. Put that on my inner lid right over here. Oh wow. Okay. These have very, very nice pigment to them. I am very impressed with this formula. They look very pretty. Holy cow. I was not expecting that. That looks really pretty. It feels nice too, like when I grab it with my finger. Wow. Okay, I'm not mad at that at all. It's so pretty. Wow. Okay, in the inner corner, I want to try one of the other shimmers just because it looks so pretty that I want to see how the other shimmers work as well. I'm going to grab the shade Glam from the shimmer side, which is this one right here. This is also another Olimar brush. Oh, wow, that's so pretty as an inner corner. Holy moly, I love it. Now, it does have a little bit of, like, fallout. There's some fallout right here. I'm gonna do the lower lash line here real quick. I'm gonna grab that darker brown shade that I put on the top, which is called Smoke. This one right here. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of another shade. Just a bit of a brush. Grab a little bit of terracotta shade. This one right here. And put that underneath of that. Just there. Just smoke it out like that and then I will be right back I'm gonna go do the other eye and then we'll finish up with the lips so see you soon okay so I'm back with the other eye done and I did add lashes the lashes that I used were the Lashaholic luxury lashes in this style they're real I swear and then I did apply mascara obviously. I used my Kevin Aquan The Expert Mascara and I added this to my waterline here. This is the Pixie and the Silky Eye Pen in the shade Black Cocoa. And I that's all I used. And now we're gonna finish with lips. So I don't know if to do the nude lip. Okay, so I keep noticing that the top keeps falling off of this one and it's driving me nuts. So FYI, if you guys did get these, be careful because the tops fall off pretty fast. Should I do a dark lip or should I do a light lip? I think this one's too light. So we're gonna go with the dark one. This is the rosewood one and from the bodyography one. And it's like a dark burgundy shade. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Uh, they do apply pretty smoothly. They're not like super smooth, but it's not super dry either. It's like in between. And so that my lips are not super dry, I'm just gonna add a lip gloss on top. This is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother 
pucker in the shade Rose and Shine. doesn't look super dry anymore all right guys so that is the finished look using the items now let's go ahead and review them real quick just to let you know my thoughts on what I think about this box for the boxy Lux this month okay so we're gonna go ahead and go over the items real quick so the first one of course was this I didn't try it out so I can't really tell you my thoughts but like I said at the beginning of the video if you guys want to see a skincare routine go ahead and let me know and we can make this one of the things that we review in that video just to see how it works next thing in the box was the pearless beauty perfect bb cream which is this product here this felt good but it didn't look good <laughs> This shade is way, way, way too light for me, way off. Maybe if I had the right shade, I would like it, but this one surpassed. I didn't like it at all. I'll probably be mixing it in with other foundations because I already opened it. I don't want to just toss it. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it and put it in with other foundations. I did use this one over top of it today, so maybe if I mix it in, it would be a good combo. I do like how my skin looks today, so that is that combo right here <laughs> unless I got my actual shade then maybe I would like it but it's a pass unfortunately next thing in the item is the Tula skin care the little eye balm thing I did like how this felt underneath my eyes very cooling it felt really nice so this one of course I did like for now skincare is hard to say you know if you like it or not if you don't give it a few tries before so this one I will definitely have to keep retrying but for now I do like it and I will keep using it to see if it works go next thing in the box was the palette and this is actually really really nice i liked the shades very very pigmented i was really impressed with the shades definitely need to play more with the pinks and stuff like that but the shades that i did use i really did love especially the shimmers are really nice i didn't have to wet them or anything for them to come out the way that they did very good i'm definitely gonna keep this and keep playing with it so i'm super excited to have this added to my collection so this one is a go for me so this was my choice thing so i do like it i like that it feels soft i like the color it's really pretty can't wait to use it maybe i can get some better Sleep, especially the eye mask because I'm a very light sleeper so if there's light that turns on all of a sudden or like a little noise it'll wake me up so <laughs> this I do like so that will go on the hits side <laughs> and then I have the M green dress CBD head to cream and I actually didn't buy it out I forgot to put it on after I put the drops so I haven't tried it out yet so I don't know if I like it or not but I am excited to use it the ingredients and stuff sound good and I hope that it works so I'll keep you guys updated on this one just because I haven't tried it yet I don't know for now it's just gonna stay in the middle and then the next thing is the melon go it's recovery treatment oil which is this one the skin did feel really nice there was a heavy scent to it which I don't care about but if you are sensitive to that probably not for you I did like it and it felt nice and my skin does look nice I don't have any complaints so this one will go in my hits for now the last thing is the lip items and the top fell for this one but it does feel nice they don't feel bad or anything they're not super glidey or buttery or anything like that they're just like your normal pencil nothing to scream craziness about i don't know but yeah the colors are pretty i do really like the colors i haven't tried anything from bodyography before so glad to have these never go wrong with lip pencils these are definitely on my hits side and i think that is it for this box so let me add everything up to see what the whole value of this box is so the whole value of this box is 352 dollars i paid 50 dollars for this box the only thing that i really didn't like was the pearless bb cream other than that everything else i'm actually really pleased with with the exception of two things that i didn't use yet which is this and this 
But other than that, everything else I do like so far. Definitely got my money's worth, I think. The big, big hit for me though is definitely the palette. It is super pretty, super pigmented, really, really nice palette. So super excited to keep trying this one out. But yeah, guys, this is it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you are new and have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I upload and leave just your comments down there what you guys think what did you guys get what did you like what you didn't like and I will see you guys at my next one toodles here I'll give you a picture with makeup this time <laughs> so you don't have to make a fake one <laughs>